Hello guys, welcome to this video. This video will tell you about Ubiquite Unified 3 Layers Management with Microtic Rotorboard. I'm Agung from Indonesia. Let's begin into the first part. The first thing you should do is open your Winbox. After that, connect into your Rotorboard and then this will look like this. This is my interface list. You can set your own as you need. There are several internet in here. And then after that, I will show you my address list. Also, you can set your own. It's just for an example. After that, I will show you the DNS configuration. Of course, you should have a static road of your domain to be a unified controller just set it for your local networks and then the important thing is DHCP server just call an option and it should have a code of 43 and there are an OH blah 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 fellow in this this will be your app address converted to hex there are two parts the first part is 0 1 and the second part is 0 4 and the third part is C blah 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 is a converted string of your IP addresses now I will tell you how to convert the string IP addresses to hex go to Google search IP to hex and then choose one you want enter your IP addresses and you just click convert IP address to hex yeah the result is 08 blah 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 you just copy after 08 and then post it into your router port as a third port and then file up. and after that you shall configure your networks and the XCB con option should so be unified all of your networks the XCB should set your the XCB option into your unify for the three code Okay, this is the end of the first setting of your Microtik. Now let's move into your Ubiquiti. Now you can see my Ubiquiti devices. It is new from Itbox. And then look at that. It looks like Uvo. It has a hole in the back side. Now we will start to set your unify devices first plug in your poa into your devices so it will be on okay now let's wait for a couple of seconds now the led will be arranged and you should wait to change the color into the green like this now you start to reset your own unified devices by click the reset power you use a small stuff like this and push it for about 10 seconds and then the LED will be off Just like this okay the light is off and then you should wait for a couple of minutes to make sure that this device ready to use and it start to clean like this again and after this state you are ready to set it into your software unify control
and now you should connect your LAN into your own computer and after that you should set your static IP into the default gateway of your ubiquity and then you should set it into 192.168.1 and 23 and the net subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168.1 and 20 okay and it's connected into your required unified and after that you click unify discovery wait for a second and your file will be shown okay it's a little bit longer than this one okay now your device is, is connected into your discovery software and after that you saw reset it first before you manage it click the reset button enter your admin and password and then click apply and now it's waiting for a few minutes to make sure that your device is ready to be adopted okay and your device will be show again after the process of reset and it has a pending status and it's ready to be managed and you saw set inform into your URL or in this case you saw use a domain that has been set in your microtic so it's same into this addresses IP and then click apply and wait for about a couple of seconds and now it's ready to be adopted and the status is adopting click manage again and you will see the notification that the five is set to inform your URL of controllers and now the step is to plug out your LAN connection and then plug your LAN into your rotorboard either so your rotorboard will discover it and now let's go into your browser in this case I use Mozilla Firefox and then type your on Unify controllers domain that you have to find it before don't forget about the port and after that you su submit your own user and password click login and voila is your dashboard of unify controllers and then click map as you can see this is our google maps and if you click devices there are several devices that are connected and now you see that two devices are on and the other is off and you can configure your own devices by click the option icon and then click configuration you can set your alias and the other setting in here and it's just easy to manage it is so easy to configure your layer stream management of your unified devices because it has a lot of uh, IP address pool so it's uh, easy to manage your own high instance or your school so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe us and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it up See you on the next tutorials.